What's up, guys? It's at Girlbot on Instagram and Girlbot TV on YouTube. And today, I'm going to showcase some of the new pants I got for skating for spring-summer 2022. So, in the past, I've done a lot of weird things to try to find things to skate in. But now, a lot of people are entering the female side of streetwear. So, there's a lot more options making things easy for me. However, when things become trendy, there's also a lot of, you know, lack of authenticity. So a little bit about me. I am a girl skater originally from New York, New York. I've been skating for 10 years. And I've also lived in places like San Francisco and a few other places. So not only am I going to show you some of these awesome jeans for fashion from Fashion Nova. Yes, Fashion Nova makes skate pants. And yes, yes, they're good. Super hype because they're cheap. And a lot of places charge 100 or more for skate pants. So... Anyway, this is just some of my personal style. I'm going to share with you kind of an amalgamation of all my experiences skating and all the places I've lived in that sort of were living and breathing with culture. You know, I'm from an immigrant family. I had to work hard. So a lot of the times, you know, while my parents were at work, you read no. So let's get into it. So yes, as an attest to the quality of Fashion Nova, I've actually had the same three, oops, three pairs of skate pants from them for the last two years. I treat them like crap. I wash them. I don't like hang them up to dry. I just put them in the dryer like normal. And they are still holding up great. So I am going to make another video too for you guys showcasing some different brands and my favorite skate pants of all time. But today I'm just going to show you some of my Fashion Nova haul and some looks too with it to try to inspire you. And show you what works for me in my skate sessions so that I'm clean and comfortable. Alright. So yeah, come sit with me on my couch. Let's get comfortable. So, I've tried a lot of different brands. I've tried Carhartt. They're a little too heavy for me. They're a little too sweaty. A little too uncomfortable for, you know, your girl. So, um, I, have good, I have heard good things about Polar. It is a men's brand. So today we are going to be kind of focusing on a women's brand, um, or however, the women's side of Fashion Nova. So, okay, don't mind the cat, but I am filming in my house. Obviously, I don't have a studio or anything like that. So, these are the ones I'm going to first show you. This is what they look like. I cut the bottom just so they don't get caught under my board or under my wheel or something like that. They are ripped at the knee. And that's kind of my belt. I love designers. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm from the city, so yeah. But I also want to show you some other cheaper options for belts to kind of help keep your pants up and help keep you comfortable that aren't going to cost you $200. This has been my one of my favorite pants to wear. I was just skating my rail the other day in these, and they were super comfy. So this is how they fit. My measurements, I am a 38 around, you know, the hip, fullest part of the hip. I am a, about a 27, 28 up here in my waist. So this is waist, hip, okay, waist, hip. And so that's a little bit like on the thicker side. They work really good on sort of keeping my curves hidden when I'm pushing, you know, and getting going and having enough. Nothing like sliding around or falling off or giving me fedgy or a wedgie. They're also durable and, you know, I would say they're breathable, honestly. For jeans, they are. So, yeah, let me show you one more. I'm going to get changed and, um, yeah, we'll unwrap some of my new ones together because I haven't opened all of mine yet. So, yeah, this is my second pair. These are the flip out wide leg skater jeans in medium blue wash. And I'm also wearing that same pair, but in the black, sort of like, you know, faded wash. So yeah, let's unwrap these. This is how everything comes from Fashion Nova. So you know it's new, which I like personally. And then I'm going to get going, get changed, and so I can show you another look. Right now, I just got a Walmart men's tank top, Carhartt beanie. I do like their beanies. And my Vans on and my Louis belt. <laughs> so let me get look two going. And wait one sec. All 
All right, so here is look number two. I have my bucket hat on. It is reversible. You can find these on Amazon. And I have this fun little crop top that's good for spring when it's like a little windier, a little breezier. You don't want everything going everywhere. This is the type of stuff I wear. I got this from a South Korean boutique online. I don't think they have it anymore. But again, this is just to kind of just give you inspiration, you know, about what works and what will kind of keep you comfortable too. Because I know a lot of girls say like, oh, well, I really want to go to the skate park more, but like, I'm scared like when I push, something's going to come out, you know? I am full figured myself. And like I said, on those windy days where your tank top is just going to be blowing, this will help you out. So this is the wide leg skater pants I was telling you about in the blue wash. And, you know, I just got them with my Vans. <laughs> um, they do come really long. I think I might have actually got them in long, which, you know, you can just cut them. Okay, so for reference, I'm about 5'6". They do fit, but I'm going to end up cutting them just so, like I said, they don't get caught under my board or anything. They're right at the kind of like bottom of my Vans. So, I'll give you a better kind of look, sorry. i lower my camera. Okay. <laughs> What's up? So that's the look. You know, it's good. Wedgie and fedgie approved. As you can see, I'm sitting down. Nothing is coming out. And I don't have a fedgie. I'm going to push. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really glad I died in, but I'm going to push. I'm good to go. Boom. I don't know. I always do the push test. Maybe that's weird. <laughs> All right. So let me get to look two. And then I might answer a couple questions, too, that you guys always ask me. So real quick, quick for reference, these are the Abbott Kinney Wide Leg Skater Jeans. And they do come with this nice stretchy stuff in the back, which is going to be nice when you're standing versus bending down. All right. <laughs> so here is my next look with that same pair I just showed you. I'm going to work here with this racerback tank. As you can see, the stretchies are keeping me good. Um, yes. <laughs> I also am going to be wearing this brown flannel with this. You can bring this with you when it gets breezy later on or if you're going for a early morning sesh, which I know a lot of ladies like to do because it's less crowded. Bring this with you. Warm up with it on. Take it off when you get nice and warmed up. You know, you can put this easily around your um, waist or just throw it in the car. Um, a lot of people ask me if I wear Thrasher. Um, Thrasher is kind of just like a brand, um, skateboard magazine. That was kind of cool. Um, I know it was trending on Instagram a few years back. My personal belief is that um, they got all the celebrities to wear it when the influencer thing was blowing up by like giving them a bunch of NDAs. And then, you know, all of a sudden they were all wearing them, but they couldn't tell anybody anything about it. That's what the NDA is for. And then all of a sudden, you know, it blew up. Genius marketing move, you know, but I don't think it was just like an accident that all the celebrities were wearing Thrasher and it suddenly had that huge blow up from like 2016 to 2018. I personally don't wear it. Um, I think there's a lot better underground kind of skate brands and skate magazines. Like Confusion Magazine, for instance, that's one I really like personally. And I've been following them on Instagram, I don't know, since like 2012, something like that. You know, I've been skating like before the whole girls blow up thing on Instagram. So I remember when Thrasher only featured girls in the Thrasher girls section and they would be like half naked. They never featured girl skaters except for like twice or three times I think in like 30 years so they're kind of just like irrelevant to me no offense you know they've given me some things to wear like when I shot for them a few years ago um, but I didn't end up letting them use my footage and we'll go into that later but um I just think there's a lot better underground brands and magazines so anyways that's this look I'll show you the full pants let me um, get on the couch again so yeah, when you sit down too, you can really tell the flexibility of jeans if you're kind of like thicker or slim thick. <laughs> the 
this is the way the pant leg looks. They're nice and wide, so you can get those deep bends in for your carbs, your pops, whatever. Let's see if they're showing anything in the back. No. No, they're not. Everything's kept in by that nice little stretch band. And let's see if they're showing anything in the front or if I'm getting a veggie. I'm going to be honest, very light veggie, but it's not really a veggie. So I think we're going to be good with these. They are a little tighter fit, as you can see. You know, they're a little tighter on my um, thighs, hip area. They're not quite as baggy as that other pair. I like them. I think they're good for pairing like a little crop top, hotter days when you want to look kind of cute. They're good for that. All right, let's get to the next look. So yeah, our next pants are gonna be the Sugar Daddy Slapped Fit Jeans in light blue wash. They come in this nice bag here. So let's unpackage them and get them on. All right, so here is my next look, probably gonna be my final look. So I don't want this video to be too long. So this might not be for everyone, okay? This is for those really hot days, those days where you want to show out, show them. This is me. F with it. I'm not going to curse. I got my navy bucket hat on here. And this is a scooped little crop top. I do have a little um, tan sort of like bra tank under just to make sure everything is being kept in. It has a little peekaboos on the side, as you can see. Now, a good thing about these little like eyelet tops or tops that have a peekaboo is that it gives you that little cleavage moment without being low cut. So that every time you try to do a trick or every time you try to lean over and do something, get your water bottle, you're falling out. You know, for my slim, thick, thick, or just ladies who just want a little eyelet, girl, you are all fabulous and beautiful the way you are. Okay? Our, our worth is not in our body. It's not, no matter how much somebody tries to tell you. That goes for women, men, and whatever you identify as. So let's look at the pants, okay? These are the sugar daddy jeans like I told you about. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so yeah, this is the way they look and fit. They're nice and loose the way I like them. Side. And this is the back. I don't think they have that little stretchy thing, but I am feeling like a little stretchy stuff in the sides. So I think they just put it like at the side. So yeah, super cute. And they're keeping everything in too, like when I bend over. Um, I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit to sit, but hold on. I'm gonna do the sit test. Yep, we're looking cute still. <laughs> um, I have my Vans on still, my old school blacks. <laughs> and I'm staying cozy I don't have a veggie at all like these are awesome so yeah these are totally veggie approved um I guess we will also reverse oh yeah I don't mind that that's the awesome things that like happen when you skate <laughs> yep still cozy laying down and then we're gonna also sit sort of like and see how they perform when I do this because that'll also tell you if you're gonna be Nope, we're good. Push test. We're good. So, yeah, I like these. Um, these are definitely a looser fit. They're not for everybody. But I like them. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if I have anything else to really say. I am going to give you a couple tips, too. Um, a lot of these outfits, too, can be dressed up for a night out. You know? A good way to stay fresh and clean, because I don't think any skate park has showers, is to bring with you little wipes. You know, these are nice and small. You can get the travel size. You can put them in your car or in your pocket. I also like to carry like a little spray. I like these Victoria's Secret ones, but I have like all kinds of brands. This is just what I want to show you. Um, you can always wear like sunglasses. Um, I like vintage sunglasses and I like new. I like a lot of different crap, but... <laughs> <laughs> or you know put some jewelry and some heels and you know be ready for your date um I don't know you can shower at his place so that's one of my ways that I dress up some of these fits because like obviously they're very like dressed down 
Oh, and I wanted to show you this dad belt too. These things I really like. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna move this because it's like not tall enough for your girl. Okay. So yeah, I really like these like dad belts. I don't know how in style they are or whatever, but I just like them for skating. They're gonna stretch when a stickies squat down to push. <laughs> and they're cheap. You can get them at Walmart for they used to be like $5.99, but I think they're like $10, $20, and then around $7.99 on sale. But yeah, I like these. I don't have time to put on for you because I'm going to wrap. Um, let me know if you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. You can follow my Instagram at girlbot, G-I-R-L-B-O-T. I'm also on TikTok at Queen Girlbot, and my YouTube is Girlbot TV. So yeah, stay with me. I'm going to do another one with like bikinis and overshirts and just different ways to style this like skate style type of thing. But I really need to cut because it's really getting way too long. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.